Hi everyone, it's Penny Black and Jill Foster here with a new PB&J card class. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 different card ideas featuring our new one of our newest sets of Masterpieces Made Simple. So here's a look at a couple of the cards that we will be creating today, showing lots of different techniques of ways to make simple, quick, and easy beautiful cards, Masterpieces Made Simple, and also some that you can really add your own style to. So this is the set of Masterpieces Made Simple that we'll be using today. This is 50-010 Reflections. These are pre-printed panels on premium premium cardstock and this is one of the coordinating sentiments 30-928 shine upon you. So here's a look at what these masterpieces made simple look like. They're the pre-printed panels. They're sized to fit perfectly on a standard A2 size card but I'm also going to be making some square cards with these in today's video. Now what we like to do in order to make the entire process very simple is to curate and coordinate different products, stamps, and dies that work beautifully with each each set of masterpieces made simple. So I showed you the sentiment before and now we're going to make some cards with another product that we've curated to work beautifully with these masterpieces made simple this set but it also works great with any of our masterpieces made simple sets and that is 51-622 framed. So I wanted to give you like a little look here at sort of how I like to organize this when I'm mass producing a lot of cards. I have a little tray here. Um, I think I got this at Walmart, like in the kitchen section. It's very affordable. And you can put all your pieces. So if you're die cutting a lot of things, you can put all of those pieces into the tray, different compartments, and keep track of them. And it really makes it go along so smooth. You can kind of assembly line, cut everything, and then have a nice way to store them so that they're ready to go uh, when you are going to make your cards. And so I'm just giving you a look here. I've got the masterpieces made simple. I've got that coordinating sentiment set and then these die cut pieces from framed. So here is how I'm going to use these to create a set of really simple cards. Now, this design idea is not mine. I was inspired by Susan Bradney who used this framed die with our Masterpieces Made Simple that came out last year and I thought her cards with the gold and the white were just stunning and um, these are maybe some of my favorite cards that I made um, for our most recent collection, the Christmas Time Collection by Penny Black because I just think they're very striking and you could easily mass produce these and at Christmas time there's so many cards to make that I love that that this gives you that option. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting little dots of glue onto this framed die cut piece. This is cut from white cardstock and I'm just going to position it over the masterpieces made simple and you can pick what portion of that image you want to be showing through of that panel. And then I'm just going to trim off the excess. And just like that, I have this piece that is ready to go onto my cards. Now I wanted to add a little bit more detail to this. So you can see in my little tray up there, there's some gold pieces. And I also cut this die from gold cardstock. And so I'm, I saved all of the pieces. You can't see the gold frames, but I saved all of the pieces. And here I'm going to use those inner pieces to inlay the gold into that frame. And a little bit later I'll show you where I use the gold frame. So I'm just adding those right in there. I added a few little dots of glue. I'm using Tombow Mono Liquid Adhesive. You can use whatever your favorite adhesives are. I just like this one because it dries clear. So if I have any parts that I get too much glue or it squirts out a little bit, it will be hidden. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So simple. Um, you can also mat this onto another square if you want to add some extra matting. You could add in other colors of cardstock. I think it'd look really pretty on a red to try tie into that cardinal. Now over to the left there you can see I have stamped my sentiment already and I'm just going to add this right on top of my card. This is five and a half inch by five and a half inch but you could also do this on a standard size card so and I will have a, an example of that for you so you can see that this frame die works with the standard size card too. And there is a look at that finished card. So simple, so fun, but really so beautiful. I think it just makes like a very standout card. So 
so next up we're going to be doing this again but you can see I've glued, da glued down the gold frame and now I will inlay the white pieces inside of that and I think it's amazing how by sort of narrowing in on a certain part of the panel, the pre-printed pre panel, how it can totally change the look too by making it this more square orientation. And there you can see how that looks with the gold frame. I'm added that onto a white square and this one I'm going to pop up on foam squares and you can see I stamped my sentiment right onto the Masterpieces Made Simple panel itself. And I love this sentiment. It comes from that coordinating three by four inch sentiment set. It's so beautiful. It talks about the reflection, which goes perfectly with that image, with the sort of cabins reflecting in the water there. Now I also wanted to show you here, this is on a standard size card, four and a quarter by five and a half inch. And from the excess of that Masterpieces Made Simple panel, I did trim a little holly and berries just to have that extending outside of the frame as well. And again, added my sentiment, which is such a great matchup with that pre-printed panel of the candles and the light of Christmas always shine upon you. And that again comes from that coordinating sentiment set. Here is one more example of the white frame with the gold inlay and the sentiment stamped below, again from that same set, ornaments and lights and everything nice. It goes beautifully with these particular Masterpieces Made Simple set. Now another one of the products that we've curated to go beautifully with this particular set is the Mary Edger die. Cuts the word Mary and also the edge, a border for that along the top. And also our 51-597 Stitches of Love frame set. I really think this particular frame set works great with these Masterpieces Made Simple. So I'm going to cut that border and I'm just showing you here. I take that border and I fold my paper in half and then cut that border and I get a piece that looks like this. And I'm going to make sort of an interactive card. So I'm going to take this border piece, sort of the sentiment piece, I'm putting on my double-sided tape and I am going to adhere that right onto this um, card base. Now this is actually just a panel of four and a quarter by five and a half inch cardstock. Here is that Stitches of Love die cut piece. I'm going to adhere that in and then you can see I can add the Masterpieces Made Simple on top of that and I'll have this interactive flap, a unique way to open up the card. So this is the word Mary that comes with the Mary Edger die and I cut it once from white cardstock and then I'm layering on this brown cardstock on top. This just gives it some extra dimension. You wouldn't have to do this step but I like how that just adds a little bit of um, sort of like a thicker look to that word Mary and I'm going to put a few dots of glue onto that and then I will put it onto that edger piece, that flap that opens up and it leaves this beautiful border above the word and you can see there the look of that card. Now I am going to stamp my sentiment right onto the Masterpieces Made Simple a couple of times there just to darken it up and then I've adhered that inside the card and with just that die cut word, the coordinating sentiment and that stitches of love around the outer edge, this just creates such a beautiful interactive card and it's very quick to put together. So again here is another look at this and as that opens up and I love that this can stand up on its own with that word Mary, that sort of flap or opening there, and there's a peekaboo at that sentiment on the inside. Now for the next card, I'm going to use the same technique, but I am going to cut the edger, the Mary edger die, so that piece is a little bit taller, a little bit bigger across the card, so you can adjust 
because that just cuts the top border. You can adjust where you want that along your cardstock. And then I'm going to use our Jolly Snippet stamp set to stamp the sentiment there down below. There wasn't a lot of room on the inside on the panel itself. And then you can open it up and you see that beautiful water running. And over there on the left, you can sign your card and write your message. And I also wanted to give you another idea for using that Mary Edger die and the Stitches of Love. So here I've got the Stitches of Love right here on the background panel and then you can actually run your your Masterpieces Made Simple pre-printed panels with that Stitches of Love die. So you get that stitching on all those different areas. I added just the word Mary. I didn't use the border portion of that die. And I think that makes such a beautiful card too. And that stitching detail takes a very simple card but makes it look finished and handmade. Now here is an idea for using the Masterpieces Made Simple where you can really let your creativity go if you like to do inking or painting. This is a way that you can do that. So first I'm going to take this letter background stamp and I'm going to stamp it in brown onto some brown cardstock. I wanted this to have kind of like a vintage natural feel to it. Now in hindsight I would have either used a darker color brown for my stamping or a lighter color cardstock uh, because in the end the text there is very very subtle but I went with it anyways. <laughs> so I'm also using that same ink that I stamped that script stamping with and I am using that with an ink blending tool and a foam pad to ink up this piece of cardstock. Again that just gives that handmade touch to the entire card even though I'm using a pre-printed panel I can add these handmade touches and background inking to really give it that special look and add my own creativity to it. This is Memento Toffee Crunch ink, which I'm adding to the background panel. Here I'm just checking on the colors. Now I haven't mentioned this yet, but all of the supplies for everything I am doing in this video are listed down in the YouTube description box below. I have links for all of the Penny Black products and then I list all of the other ink colors and markers and papers all listed down in that YouTube description box below as well. So if you have any questions about that you can check it out. Now one of the next coordinating products that we have in particular for this set is this Holly Branches die and this we've curated and pulled into um, with this Masterpieces Made Simple set because it, the sizing is perfect with these. So I'm just going to color the berries with a red uh, alcohol based marker. I think this is a twin touch marker. And then I'm going to use my inks and my ink blending tool with foam pad to color all of the green. For me that's just faster than coloring all of that with markers. You could also paint these. You could cut them from colored cardstock. There is no wrong way to do it. This is just what I was going for. I wanted this to have an inked look because I did that inking on the background. The red that I used was bright enough and bold enough it could handle the green inking on top and still stay vibrant enough to go with the design. So I'm just kind of pouncing my ink blending tool and swiping it a little bit onto the holly and berries. And you can see there how beautifully that fits right on top. I'm just checking to make sure that it's showing up enough. So I am going to go back and just darken it up a little bit more so that it shows a little bit better when I put it onto the Masterpieces Made Simple panel. And here I decided to warm up this background here. So I'm adding a little rusty hinge distress ink. So after I had it all done, I thought, oh, it's just not quite right. So I layered a little more color on there and I like the warmth that that added. So I will assemble this. I'm kind of curling up that holly berries die with my finger and adding a little liquid adhesive onto the stem and one little part of the berries and layering this right on top of the Masterpieces Made Simple panel and this really gives us a homemade touch. The inking in the background, the inked die cuts on top. I really love how you can use these Masterpieces Made Simple panels very very simply 
and they look beautiful or you can really make them your own like this and layer lots of elements on top. I'll just trim off the excess here and you can see that I also stamped my sentiment before I put it on the card there right onto the Masterpieces Made Simple panel itself. So here is another idea using that Holly Berry die plus the Stitches of Love die that I used previously. So I'm going to add some adhesive just onto the back of my Masterpieces Made Simple panel. I've already stamped my sentiment on there and then I am just using pieces of that Stitches of Love die cut to create a stitched border along the edge of that panel. That is a really great layout if you're also looking for just some very simple cards with these Masterpieces Made Simple panels. You could get just the Masterpieces Made Simple panels and the Stitches of Love die and create a lot of cards just like this. And then to take this kind of to the next level, I have just inked that Holly Berry's die with green, like a light green. I wanted a really subtle look, but some layering on top. And I am just adhering that down right on top of that pre-printed panel. And I am going to use some self-adhesive pearls where those berries are. So instead of coloring those red, I didn't really want to pull any red into this particular design. So I'm just going to use some tiny little pearls on top of those areas where the berries are to embellish this design. And I will just trim off the excess here. And this is a standard size card, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And you can see there that little bit of layering on top, that Holly Berry die is so handy with this particular set. And the finished card. Now finally, we have one more die. This is a new die for us. This is Immense Joy. And I love using this with all of our Masterpieces Made Simple sets. And I die cut for that center of the O the Masterpieces Made Simple panel and it fits right inside of there and I just think that is so fun. So I die cut the Immense Joy die from blue um, cardstock and I just wanted to sponge a little bit more blue on top so that it matched up with that Masterpieces Made Simple panel that's going in the center of that word joy. Now, if you're looking for even more card ideas, I have two more videos coming for you featuring the other two Masterpieces Made Simple sets coming soon. So be sure that you subscribe to our channel. You may want to hit that bell notification so that you get a notification when the next video uploads. So if you're a fan of these Masterpieces Made Simple, there are more videos coming with the other two sets. And if you're a fan of more traditional stamping, I have lots of videos, Christmas videos coming with that as well. So here you can see I am coloring that Holly Berries die. It's the same one we used before and I am using my alcohol based markers and all the exact colors and brands will be listed like I said in that YouTube description box below. And for this card I decided to color them because I really wanted to match the intensity of the Holly and Berry colors that were on the Masterpieces Made Simple panel. and I'm just adding a little shading. I put my lighter color down, then put a little darker color on top, and then go back and blend it with my lighter marker. So I'm just checking here to make sure that those colors are what I were going for, was going for. I'm going to add even just a little touch of yellow in there to tie in to that on the panel. Now here is that Stitches of Love frame die. You can't see the stitches because I've masked them off with painter's tape. This is one of my favorite techniques using the Stitches of Love or any of our Stitches frame dies. I'm inking onto that background using that tape as a mask for the stitching area. I'm starting off the edge and working my way on in a circular motion using Toffee Crunch Memento ink and an ink blending tool with a foam pad. And you can see here, this is my favorite part, when I slowly peel back that painter's tape, it reveals that stitching and it adds instant dimension without any bulk to your card. 
I love, love how this looks. And again, that's that Stitches of Love die that I've used on all the other cards with this set. Now I also die cut that Joy die from white cardstock, again, gluing them together just for a little extra dimension. And I'm going to start putting all the pieces together here. So a little few dots of glue. I'll add that onto my Stitches of Love die cut panel that I inked. I'll use some double sided tape to the back of that Masterpieces Made Simple panel. And then I can embellish with the Holly Berries die that I colored. And then finally, the last step I did is I did pull in another one of our new sentiment sets, 30-925 Jolly Snippets. And I wanted just a very small, tiny sentiment that would fit there along that Y, filled with joy. And I stamped that onto that background. So here is a look at this finished card, and I'm going to give you another look at all the rest, all 10 cards that we've made in today's video. I thank you so much for joining in and watching today. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Like I said, we have lots more videos coming with our new Christmas time products, and I will see you then. Happy stamping!